Hey everyone, how y'all doing today? Lumpy here, and today we're just going to tear into some Amon Ket and hope for some God cards in there. Let's see what we got. Get right to it. First uncommon, Kefner's Monument, Wayward Servant, Limits of Solidarity, and Visor of Many Faces, Vizier. A zero, zero. You may have Vizier of Many Faces enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except Vizier of Many Faces was embalmed. The token has no mana cost. It's white and it's a zombie in addition to other types. That's pretty cool. Copy a card for two and two islands. Yeah, man. I'm digging that. Is it worth anything? I doubt it. Maybe a buck. But, let's find out. If y'all know, let me know down in the comments. A full art island, loving it. And a cat token with lifelink. All right. Painted Bluffs. And Hapatra's Mark. True Heart Twins. Trial of Solidarity. And New Perspectives. An Enchantment. When New Perspectives enters the battlefield, draw three cards. As long as you have seven or more cards in hand, you may pay zero rather than pay... It's cycling costs. Yeah, man. For seven, five in a island. A full art forest. Loving it. And a warrior token. A sun scorched desert, another desert. When it enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to target player. Yeah, man. Protection of the Hekma. If a source an opponent controls would deal damage to you, prevent one of that damage. Yeah, man. Labyrinth Guardian. When Labyrinth Guardian becomes the target of a spell, sacrifice it. Embalm it for three in an island. Exile this card from your graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of it, except it's a white zombie illusion warrior with no mana cost. Embalm it only as a sorcery. It's a two, three for two. Lay bare the heart. That means rip into your chest. For one in a swamp, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose a non-legendary, non-land card from it, and that player discards that card. <laughs> Yeah, man, you just rip open their heart and throw it away. All right, what do we got next? Dun, dun, dun. Bounty of the Luxa. Is that worth anything? I believe it may be. Let me know down in the comments. I believe that's a good card. At the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, remove all flood counters from Bounty of the Luxa. If no counters are removed this way, put a flood counter on Bounty of the Luxa and draw a card. Otherwise, add colorless forest and island to your mana pool 
So you get three to your mana pool for two, a forest, and an island. Yeah, man. Bounty of the Luxa. An island. And magic duels. The bigger story. More cards, more strategy. All right. We got another one here. A little sphinx-looking thing. Any old who? Y'all need to like, subscribe, and share. Hit that like button, or the subscribe button down in the corner. Well, hit the thumbs up for me, too, if you would. That would be awesome. Help me out. Help me pay for some of these packs. Well, if I ever get to that thousand subscribers, I'll be giving away a bunch of this crap, too, so... Painted Bluffs again. Another desert. Bitterblade Warrior. That's cool artwork. Check that out. Start and finish. Yep, that's our uncommon. Start and finish. Start. Create two 1-1 one, one white warrior creature tokens with vigilance. And finish. A sorcery aftermath for three. Two in a swamp. Cast this spell from your graveyard, then exile it as an additional cost to cast finish. Sacrifice a creature and destroy target creature. Not bad. Lay claim. Enchant permanent. You control enchanted permanent. permanent. Cycle two. For two, discard this card and draw a card. For seven, you can enchant the permanent and you can just take over somebody's card. Yeah, man. Take over somebody's creature. Grasping Dunes, a desert. Add colorless to your mana pool. For one and tap it, sacrifice Grasping Dunes. Put a minus one, minus one counter on target creature. Activate this ability anytime you could cast a sorcery. Grasping Dunes. Heaven and Earth is our rare. Heaven deals X damage to each creature with flying and aftermath. Cast this card from your graveyard, then exile it. Earth deals X damage to each creature without flying. Yeah, man. And we have Unburden Foil. Target player discards two cards for one and two swamps. A mountain and the bigger story. Alrighty, our last Almond Cat pack here, for now anyway. Like, subscribe, and share. All right. Evolving Wilds. And our uncommon Zenith Seeker. Exemplar of Strength. Stir the Sands. Create three 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens for four and two swamps. When you cycle Stir the Sands, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. Yeah, man. And our rare is Failure to Comply. Failure is Return Target Spell to its owner's hand and Comply. Has Aftermath and play it from your graveyard then exile it. Choose a card name. Until your next turn, your opponents can't cast spells with the name of the chosen cards of the chosen name. Can't cast spells with the chosen name. Oh my, I can't talk at all today. But failure costs one in an island, comply costs a plains. We have a plains and this little uh, brick and minus one counter card with exerted embalmed. Yeah, little things that come apart. Anywho, there you have it. What y'all think? Was it worth 25 bucks or was it not? Y'all have a great day. Like, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Try anything once, twice if you like it. Lumpy out.